Project Zomboid recently released its multiplayer update, and with it came a lot of new players looking to kill some zombies with their friends. And I'm here to teach you how to host a server for you and your friends. This won't be a dedicated 24-7 server though, and will only run when the person hosting it is online on the server. If you want a dedicated server, you're going to have to buy one. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the person who's going to be hosting the server to open the game and click the host button. After they've clicked on the button, they'll be presented with a menu. The menu should say server test. If you're going to be hosting a server with mods, there's a timestamp on screen for you to skip to, but if you're not using mods, continue watching. The host from here can edit the server settings, so you and your friends can play on whatever you feel is the best for you. If there's going to be a lot of you on one server, you might want to increase the server memory, but make sure not to use too much, as it does use your computer's RAM. Once the host has selected the settings you all agreed on, they can go ahead and go back to the previous screen and hit host on the bottom right. Now the server is going to boot up. It might take a second, but that's okay. Once the host gets into the server, makes their character, picks their traits and spawn point, they will be able to continue with the rest of the tutorial. Once the host is finally in the game, they want to hit the escape menu and locate the invite friends tab. And from there, they need to switch the Great Deny button to allow on all the people who will be joining the server. This does require you to be friends with the host on Steam. Once that is all said and done, the host can exit the menu and navigate to the Steam overlay. From there, they can invite the friends they just whitelisted. The people who have been invited should have their games closed when accepting the invites to avoid any complications. Now, for you who want to have mods on your server, you're gonna want to hit the Manage Settings button, then hit Create New Settings. You're going to want to navigate to Steam Workshop and add every mod you want to have on the server. From then, you can go ahead, click Save, navigate back to this menu, and select your new preset. From then on, you can go ahead and skip back to this timestamp where I show you how to invite your friends. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and comment. And if you want to see more of this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.